everybody, I'm Sarah and I'm a recorder player. And today we are celebrating because Team Recorder has hit 200,000 subscribers. That was me trying to play Daphne in a major key. Celebration. I started this channel eight years ago and there I famously said my little YouTube channel has hit 400 subscribers so the fact that literally hundreds of you not only exist but have come together here is just amazing to me so thank you and who knows maybe we'll hit 500. Who would have thought the recorder community would grow to 200,000 people. Hidden in the back there behind the recorders is my silver play button. We hit 100,000 subscribers in 2020. The channel had a big explosion in views then, partly thanks to the two set violin video and the Davy 504 video. But after that big explosion, everything really leveled off. And I think that's a really good thing because now I know that the people who are subscribing and who are watching are the real recorder fans. You are my people. So there's a few things I wanna do in this video. The first is to tell you how you can get involved. I asked on Instagram, how can we celebrate? And a really popular idea was to have all of us playing together in an orchestra. Now, here's where I'm not sure if this is all gonna surpass my powers of editing, but what I would like you to do is film yourself playing and send it in. We are going to play the late 15th century, early 16th century piece. Passe la gua ma giulietta dama. It's a beautiful piece and entirely depending on how many people <laughs> send me videos, I'll edit it into something wonderful. At the link below, you can click to download the sheet music and there will also be a page of instructions for how to film it. Please follow them uh, so that my computer does not explode. You need to send your files to the specific special email address I set up just for this listed below. And the deadline for this is in two weeks time. Early music aficionados, you will notice that I have notated the piece slightly differently to how you might be used to, but I think this is the clearest for everybody. The second thing is very important, and those are my personal acknowledgements to you. It's a bit like the Oscars. Most importantly, my Patreon supporters, all of you, I'm looking you directly in the eyes. It's honestly because of you that I can continue to make these videos. And especially for my Patreon supporters, we're gonna do a live stream Q&A. That's gonna be this Sunday, February the 4th at 5 p.m. Amsterdam time. Patreon supporters, don't worry, you'll get a post about it. If you'd like to join the Patreon so you can join in as well, then feel free, feel free. Uh, and this is very important, I don't talk about this enough, but thank you to all of my professional colleagues, uh, the professional businesses in the recorder and early music world that have worked with the channel over the years and have supported it. Wonderful companies like Mollenhauer, like Pet Sold by Kunat, I'm an official endorser of both of those brands. The Early Music Shop in the UK, Shop Music who published my first books and the countless smaller businesses, handmade recorder makers, anybody who's ever sent in sheet music or gadgets or accessories or told me about your groups. And very importantly, the recorder societies around the world, the SRP and ERTA in the UK, the European Recorder Society, the American Recorder Society, wherever you are, all over the world, to all of the people who have actually taken up the recorder since starting my channel. Thank you to all of the teachers across the world who have happily picked up these students, brought these people into your playing groups and your ensembles and your recorder orchestras and your choirs, and to my colleagues who have generously volunteered their time to appear on this channel, from Lucy Horsch to Eric Boschraff to Adam Neely to Walter von Hauer. And there's so many more people, but this is something I don't often get the chance to thank explicitly, so here we are. So yeah, I'm gonna do a few things celebrating 200,000. I'm just so happy. Uh, but what I'd like to close this video with is something special. 
I'm now going to edit in the very first video I ever made pre-team recorder. I did an artistic residency with my ensemble and some colleagues and I made a video diary of it. I had so much fun. I loved editing this so much. That was like planted a seed uh, thinking, okay, maybe I should try this YouTube thing. It was filmed not even on my old phone, but an old camcorder an actual handheld camcorder. So the video quality is not what we're used to anno 2024. And we've also got some amazing early 2010s fashion going on. Enjoy. We are Axolot, a recorder trio based in Amsterdam. We play music like this, but also music that looks like this, or like this, or sometimes like this. So yeah, this is us. Outside of Axelot, we collaborate separately with three very different electronics artists. The logical step was to create a project with all six of us together on an artistic residency at Electronic Centre, Stein. After arriving and setting up and unpacking our instruments and sound checking, it was time to start improvising. On day two, we started making music of a different kind. Mushrik wrote a song, Sarah made an arrangement, and we started putting it together. We had the studio 24 hours a day, so we were free to experiment with the electronics late into the night. Oh yeah, this whole time Rocha had been building his own sound installation using a combination of bass shakers, a snare drum, found objects and a table. Of course, we thought this would be cool to combine with flamenco and clog dance. Jose's Iwi is going through Rutherford's weird drum chair. And of course we had that inevitable moment the night before the concert where nothing worked, we couldn't figure it out and the only thing left to do was sleep. The day of the concert and first we rehearsed everything to make sure it was absolutely perfect. Then it was time to set up, sound check, set the lights and run through all seven pieces. Okay. And we were ready for our presentation concert. 
In four days, we'd managed to put together 50 minutes of new music, and we were really happy to have a full hall to come and listen to us. The residency was done. After the concert, the audience were really excited to come and talk to us about all the things that we've done. If you'd like to hear more, just visit our website, trioaxalot.com. There we go. Was that fun? So there we go. I'm going to round it off here. Send me your videos of this music. Instructions below. Don't forget to read them and I'll edit it into some thing. And next week you're going to get a video that mixes two of my favourite things, Baroque rhetoric and memes. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Oh, I forgot to say all the other stuff. As always, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face down here in the corner. Go and join the club. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel on Patreon and join our exclusive live stream Q&A on Sunday, click over here and here's some more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.